everybody, Vince Ferrara, 99.1, the sports animal, and 99.1, the sports animal.com. Checking in at Neyland Stadium before the Chevrolet orange and white game. Tennessee will be on display playing football for the first time in front of the fans in a team scrimmage setting under Josh Heupel. And we're excited to see a lot of different things. There's obviously a lot of questions about this team, and much of it starts at the quarterback position. Those guys have been rolling in and out with the ones throughout the entire spring practice, and Hendon Hooker and Harrison Bailey and Brian Maurer, who is out there for the first series with the ones. That will be interesting. I don't think that's going to be a definite and an absolute on who gets the starting nod, especially with Joe Milton coming in, the Michigan transfer, and with Caden Salter, if he does make it back on the team moving forward, the talented freshman from Texas. So. Nothing will be decided, but it'll be interesting to see those quarterbacks. You want to see those guys get rid of the football quickly, get it out of their hands quickly, take some shots downfield, not just be check down Charlie. You want to see them be able to run the offense with the tempo that the coaching staff wants. And then obviously accuracy is going to be really important. One thing we may not be able to tell is how those guys do between the ears because that intelligence and understanding of what they're trying to do is going to be huge under Josh Heupel and Joey Halsley, the quarterback's coach. Other things really looking forward to, a number of running backs have had really good springs, like Jabari Small, complimented by players and coaches. What does he look like in the team setting? He did not practice much, especially in, in the team setting when we saw him in the open practice a couple of weeks back. Also, want to see Dee Beckwith. I'm really excited about him, a 6'5", 220, 225 pound running back. He has excellent waist bend, lowers his pads, delivers the contact, runs over defenders. I think he's a really exciting guy that you will see split out, uh, sometimes motion out, sometimes just lined up outside in an empty set with the five wides. Look for the tight ends to be split out a lot today as well. You'll also see a lot of uh, passing to the running backs. I think that'll be a big part of this offense, which will be pretty exciting, I think, because that hasn't always been the case with Tennessee talented running backs. Also, what does the offensive line look like? There's been a lot of options, a lot of guys moving around. Cade Mays, does he line up at left tackle, right guard? He can play all different kinds of positions and has in the spring. Where does he line up? A lot of that will depend on how good the other guys look as well. You know, defense, you guys have heard all the talk about the linebacking group and how thin it is with suspensions and injuries. Does that group look like it's going to be as difficult to manage as it appears to be for a lot of us? You don't want to see big plays given up on the back end. Then obviously the line of scrimmage with the D-line. That group has a lot of experience, but do they have any difference makers? And then a couple other guys at that Leo spot, the outside linebacker, TN Hybrid, Byron Young has had a terrific spring practice. Compliments from players and coaches, and he looked the part as the Juco coming in. And then Bryson Eason, Tyler Barron, he's been a little nicked up. We see him get after the quarterback. Tennessee's absolutely going to need that pass rush this year. So want to keep everybody healthy. A lot of guys that have been either in black non-contact jerseys or held out of practice, you probably won't see them today, but it'll be fun to get a, a feel for this Josh Heupel offense and this Josh Heupel run team. Let's talk more about fun. You want to see that play out today in front of the fans. Regardless of the weather probably keeping some people home, I think it'll be fun to see and we'll talk about it on 99.1 The Sports Animal all next week. And then of course, tons of coverage at 991thesportsanimal.com. I'm Vince Ferrara. Make sure you follow us on all our social media accounts. Check the website every day for constant Tennessee content on our website. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you a little bit later. I'm Vince Ferrara here at Neyland Stadium for the Chevrolet Orange and White Game. See you guys.